Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how to create a simple vector shape animation with Artboard Studio. You will learn how to create simple shapes and stylize them. You will learn how to create keyframes and how to deal with the easing options in Artboard Studio. Let's get started. First, create a new artboard on your canvas. Draw it anywhere with any size or go to the right sidebar, custom drop down menu and choose any predefined size. Because you are in a free form canvas, you can move your artboard, create other artboards as you like. From the right sidebar fill section, you can apply any color or gradient. I'm adding a grid for my artboard to perfectly position or snap objects. You can also resize the grid size, change the color or opacity. This grid will be invisible in your exported video, so don't worry about hiding or removing later. Now, my artboard ready to add design elements inside. Let's put something here to animate. First, I'm adding a polygon shape inside my artboard. While drawing, I'm not leaving the mouse to resize and position easily. Because you are in an infinite canvas, you need to place any object inside the artboard. Artboards works like containers for your design elements. Converting this polygon into a vector shape in order to edit and animate the vector point. Now, because it's a vector shape, I can easily reposition the vector points. Placing this triangle to the bottom of my artboard, resizing to fit the artboard width. Now, adding a rectangle to my artboard on top of the triangle. As you see, the grids are really helpful when you are positioning the objects inside your artboard. Adding an ellipse too. You can always use the right sidebar properties to change the values. Designing on the canvas is great, but sometimes you need rumbers to work easier. I want this rectangle to have border radius, simply dragging the controllers on the edges and adding radius to this rectangle. Also, you can press and hold option key to edit corners individually. Now it's time to style the shapes. Selecting the shape and going to the right properties panel, clicking the color box inside the fill section. You can apply gradients, patterns as you like. For the rectangle, I'm choosing the purple tones and for the triangle, choosing orange. If you want to be a good designer and help your collaborators, you can also rename your layers by opening the layers panel here. Let's close the layers panel for more space and start moving the stuff. Selecting the triangle first and enabling the animation mode by pressing start animating button down there. Resizing the shape and because the animation mode is active, creating my first keyframe automatically. Moving the rectangle and again, creating my first keyframe. And lastly, the circle now has its own first keyframe. Moving the playhead on the timeline to create my second keyframes. Again, resizing the shapes and creating second keyframes for each of them. Because if you need motion, you need at least two keyframes. Moving the playhead for the third keyframes. Now, defining the positions of the shapes for the third keyframe. I am comfortable because it's automatically generating keyframes for my canvas changes. Now the fourth step. Again, moving the playhead and doing my changes on the artboard. I'm done with creating keyframes, so clicking on stop animating button to switch to design mode because I don't want to create more keyframes by mistake. I just want to adjust my timing and frame rate settings here, entering 2000 to duration to make my animation 2000 milliseconds, which means 2 seconds. Also, increasing frame rate to 60 to get smoother video exports. Let's play the animation and see what we have created so far, enabling the loop mode to repeat the animation. Cool, but I want smoother animations. Expanding the timeline editor from this icon to see my keyframes and animated layers clearly. Pressing Shift and 2 to see entire artboard content. Expanding the layers to see keyframe details. You can also open the layers panel and color tag your timeline layers. It's better now. Okay. Now I want this rectangle to rotate while jumping, activating the animation mode and going to the right sidebar, moving the playhead and entering 100 for rotation input. And it automatically creates the second keyframe for me. The animation is still too linear. Let's add some easing. Selecting all the layers in the timeline and going to the right sidebar easing section. 
Choosing quint for smoother transition, you can also move the curve to make your own easy. Instead of current option, I will go with back option to get a little bit of bouncing effect. You can also choose from in, out, or both option. Clicking the stop animation button again and finishing the animation part. It looks great now. I think this is my latest decision on this animation. Now I can export my animation as a video. You always have the option to adjust frame rate before exporting. Hitting the export button and it will download my video in a few seconds. You have now successfully created a simple shape animation with Artboard Studio. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in comments below. Additionally, you can also explore and experiment this project by following the link provided in the description. Take care. Bye.